boys and girls of grade six. Today, we will do social studies, and for social studies, we will look at the topic, Our Nation. Subtopic is transportation. I am teacher Melinda Hughes, and I'm happy to be with you here today so we can examine briefly what transportation is and how it helps in movement across the country and the world. What is transportation? Transportation is the movement of people, goods, and services. Transportation is important because it helps us to get to school, to work, and wherever we want to go, even the most remote areas. It also helps us to export and import goods and services. Internal transportation is transportation within a country. So for example, in Guyana, we have transportation moving from the highland region to the low coastal plain or from the hilly sand and clay area region to the interior savannas, that is internal transportation. External transportation is transportation out of a country. So we can say, for example, when someone wants to move from Guyana to Trinidad, we call that external transportation. Or if I have to travel from Guyana to the United States of America, then that will come under the category external transportation. The means of transportation is the type of vehicle used. Example, car, aeroplane, boat. And the mode of transportation refers to the medium in or on which the movement takes place. Example, land, air, and water. So for example, land, which is the mode of transportation, we have roads and bridges, and the means by which those transportation are conducted or move someone from one place to another are the use of a bicycle, a car, a bus, etc. On water, we move by raft, canoes, speedboats, and then in the air, of course, that mode of transportation, the means by which someone can travel, would be airplane and the helicopter. So we have persons riding across the savannas, in the interior savannas, more specifically the Rupununi, we have persons going to school using bicycles. Then we have movement of persons from Guyana to Suriname. They use the MV Sandaka, which is a means of transportation across the Quarantine River. Then we have persons who travel along the East Coast, let's say from Lusignan, and they travel down to Georgetown, they would join a minibus and more specifically those minibuses have a special code on it which is labeled 4 to 4 so we call that the route 4 to 4 minibuses then we have persons who move by car those private persons individuals or those who take taxis across the country from one point to another they move by motor car and so forth transportation by land in Guyana there are many roadways. On these roadways, we use vehicles like cars, buses, trucks, tractors, and vans. Some popular roadways in Guyana are the linden Dyke Highway, the Rupert Craig Highway, the linden Letem Roadway. When using the roadways, we must practice road safety. That means we must obey road safety rules. We must wear our seat belts, that's buckle up, use the curb drill, and also the pedestrian crossing if we're doing transportation by land. Transportation by water. In Guyana, we use the following rivers to move between different regions. We have the Essequibo River, and that river links region three and region two. So we can travel from Perica to Supanam. It also links region three to region seven. So we can travel from Perica to Bartico. Next we have the Demerara River. We can move from Georgetown, which is in region four, and travel to region three, 
which is Reden Ho. Then we have the Burbis River, for example, Region 5 from Rosic Nall, and we travel across the Burbis River and end up in Region 6 in New Amsterdam. We also have the Quarantine River. The Quarantine River is located in Region 6, and so from Quarantine, someone can travel or persons can travel from Quarantine to Suriname, and so they would ply the Quarantine River. So transportation by water takes us across the rivers, some of the main rivers in Guyana. Of course, there are other rivers inland that individuals travel on in order to get to their different locations. When using waterways, of course, we must practice safety. And that means we must wear our life boys or wear a life jacket when traveling by water. Transportation by air. In Guyana, our international airports are the Chedi Chagan International Airport, which is located at Tamiri, and the Eugene F. Coraya International Airport, which is located at Ogu. There are many smaller airstrips located in Guyana. This mode of transportation is used to move to remote areas in Guyana where there are no access to roads. For example, if someone wants to travel to Mabaruma from Georgetown, then of course it is easier and faster to get there by using transportation by air to Port Kaituma and also Paramakatoi, which are locations or areas in our Highland region. When using the airways, we must obey instructions given by the pilot, wear our seat belts, and observe all signs and symbols. The importance of transportation. So since we have internal transportation, I will examine with you some of the importance. One, airstrips facilitate the transportation of minors, residents, tourists, farmers, and their produce to the hinterland and also the coastland. Transportation links or roads contribute significantly to the economic development of our country. How does this happen? When farmers want to move their produce from the backlands or from their farmlands to the market, then they would use a particular means of transportation, either by truck, by lorry, or they use a van, and by such means, they get to sell their produce, and the returns that everyone looks for from produce is what they gain, finances. So that transportation by land contributes to economic development of our country, not only to individuals or groups, but the country gains simply because when someone earns from his produce, then taxes are paid or they pay bills like electricity, water bill, and then the country earns. Water transportation. How is that important to Guyana or internally? Water transportation is very vital to industries such as logging, fishing, tourism, and for residents to carry out their day-to-day -day activities. So for example, loggers who do logging in Mabura Hill or in the Bartica Triangle area in order to transport their produce or their log when they cut down those trees to the mainland or to the coastland, they transport such by using the rivers along the way, the Demerara River, and also the Essequibo River in order to get to the city where their produce or that which they cut, the log, is sold and they get their returns. Fishing also. The fishing industry benefits, of course. Fish is caught in our waterways. And so when the fishermen head out into the ocean or they go deep out into the rivers and they fish, of course, they use the waterways to transport, to get back inland, sell to markets, sell off to vendors, and so they benefit economically. Importance of transportation by international means. This 
contributes to the importation of goods. Of course, in Guyana, we produce some of the items we use, like rice and sugar. But, of course, there are some items that we do not produce in Guyana. For example, like wheat. We do not grow wheat here, but we import wheat, and from wheat we are able to get flour by taking it to the mill. Of course, in order for wheat to get to Guyana, there is need for transportation. So internationally, Guyana gets to benefit from importation of goods that they do not produce here so that Guyanese can enjoy what is available on the market without having to send to other countries to get that. How does transportation internationally also benefit us? How is it important? It contributes to the movement of persons, especially tourists, so the country can earn foreign exchange. And so when persons who do not live here come to visit our country and they want to enjoy the scenery of the majestic Kaichor Falls, they are called tourists. And so they enter Guyana by means of transportation and so they country or in foreign exchange because what they do they bring their currency here and then they go to the central bank or they go to the cambios change their foreign currency so they can use what Guyana's currency is in order to move around so we are able to earn foreign exchange because of importation or the visitation by tourists so boys and girls Transportation is important in every sphere of life. And even as you sit at home, and there are times when you may go out with your parents, I want to encourage you to practice the COVID guidelines and make sure when you're traveling, you practice the safety rules that will make it safe for you to travel, whether by land, air, or water. Until then, goodbye boys and girls. See you next time.